Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 25th, 2022. Well, yesterday provided us with quite the volatility, as I had suggested um, in yesterday's Morning Prep video, that uh, it could be possible. And oh my goodness, we kind of tossed, tossed a lot at us um, yesterday as the Dow surged and the SPY and QQQ kind of lagged behind um, testing price resistance levels. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, my goodness, we had quite the um, excitement yesterday as we whipsaw dramatically. First, we had a major gap up, and then we ended up shortly after that whipsawing and almost filling the gap on um, the day before we started to resume that upside with the Dow really surging the most in the market on the day. Well, as you can see here on the daily charts, we uh, pushed right up here nicely and confirming this upside move where we broke the downtrend, held the higher low, and pushed on through to the upside. Unfortunately, we have moved up over 1,300 points, um, Dow points in just two trading days and we happen to be kind of smacking into some significant price resistance levels into in the chart so we're going to have to watch that closely now the other good news here on the day for the diamonds is that we breached the 50-day moving average and at least um, at the end by the end of the day had held it firm um, on that move. Now this is the only index to do that so far. As a matter of fact, I would really kind of say that the Dow is way ahead of the other indexes right now, which puts us into maybe just a little bit of an imbalance here. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, SPY also surged um, substantially yesterday, but notice that we just kind of ran into a little bit of trouble. We ran into that price resistance, and although this is a nice little move in holding that higher low in here and really confirming that inverted head and shoulders pattern, well, we kind of popped right up into that neckline area and hesitated and paused right there. So as you can see, the SPY is certainly lagging behind that massive bullishness that we saw in the Dow. And we will have to keep a close eye on these resistance levels in the chart. If we can push on through this level, then I want you to make note there is a very substantial level right through here that we'll still have to break through to uh, follow this up to the upside. Not saying it can't be done, but we'll want to keep a close eye on that. And then if we look at our technicals here in the chart, well, you can see didn't quite um, improve, uh, well, didn't improve nearly as much as it did in the Dow. We're still well below our 50-day moving average, and that is declining, although we did get above that 34 EMA. So can we follow through? Well, I think it all is going to depend on these big tech earnings reports, and believe me, all eyes are on those, and the volatility of this market could be substantial depending on how they report. Let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ also lagged behind yesterday, and let's notice that we didn't even make that chance to break above this area right in here. We're stuck underneath that resistance right now. So we have this level right here to deal with, and if we can follow through, we've got a fairly significant price resistance level right there to break through. But the good news is, um, looking at the chart, as you can see, we snuck out from underneath that downtrend here for the first time here in the QQQ. Can we follow through with this little inverted head and shoulders pattern? Can we deal with these price resistance levels in the chart? That's yet to be seen. So watch that closely and of course, these earnings reports today could be very telling as to how we're going to deal with um, this downtrending situation and all these price resistance levels in the chart. And I think, honestly, 
anything is possible. If we were to take a look at our technicals here, notice that we didn't quite even make it through our 34 EMA um, yesterday. So we're still beneath that 34 EMA. Our 50 day moving average continues to, to to decline and our 200 is well below our 500 day moving average in the chart. If we were to take a look at our Russell IWM, well, there we also had a little bit of a struggle. We um, tried to rally. We broke all the way back down and then we ended up pushing up here toward the end of the day. But as you can see, well, we didn't really prove anything. Um, we do have this little upside trend going on in here that we can um, maybe hang some hopes on. But at, then at the same time, we're struggling with these price resistance levels in the chart. So not all that impressive in the Russell yesterday, but you know, when we're really focused on earnings, that is sometimes the case because IWM, um, uh, you know, doesn't really carry those notables like the other three major indexes do. So keep a close eye on IWM. We've got some work here to do to break some of those resistance levels in the chart. And technically, we um, again um, stuck underneath that 34 EMA with that diving 50 day moving average. We got some work here to do before we can really say the all clear has been confirmed in the market. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, an interesting thing yesterday with our VIX is. Well, it didn't really, you know, being such a huge upside move in the market yesterday in the Dow, well, it didn't really prove to be that way here in the VIX. We had even popped up and were showing a little bit of fear creeping up um, with that whipsaw that we saw in the day. We haven't been able to break down through that little support area in the chart, but we did break or we're resting right in this area on that little support area in the chart. Now, clearly we are moving in a downtrend right now and we have broken this little upside trend. So you have to give that to the bulls, but I'm not really seeing a massive amount of confidence um, in this uh, VIX chart that we would um, expect to see after such a big move in the market yesterday. So watch that closely. If we were to bounce up off of here, that could um, could raise that fear um, once again. And, and, and with big tech earnings, anything is possible. So um, just be prepared for just about anything um, on the day. And of course, th what that means is tomorrow morning after a Google and Microsoft report, well, we could have a big pop in the market in the um, uh, as a result, or we could have a big drop in the market as a result. So make sure you plan carefully and understand the risk of your trades heading into tomorrow's open. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122 had a good day yesterday pushing up, and then we had that little bit of whip or pullback. What was interesting really on the day is again, the Dow surged, but we saw the NASDAQ 100, the S&P 500, and the Russell 2000 all kind of hesitate or linger. So the majority of the market was giving us that little bit of pause or hesitation at price resistance levels why the Dow just ripped um, to the upside. So we ended up with this little bit of a confusion here in our T2122. Now what this tells us is we still have upside opportunity. If we can find reason for bullishness, then we have that upside upper opportunity here in the chart. This also shows us that, well, we may be struggling along a little bit of a price resistance in this chart. And if those bears were to find inspiration, well, we certainly have opened up an opportunity for a pullback. And I think largely today could be a hurry up and wait as we wait for those big tech earnings reports to um, hopefully give us some inspiration one way or another. And then if we take a look at our T2108, uh, well, the number of stocks moving above their 40 day moving average or holding above their 40 day average improved. But notice it wasn't, we, we improved and then we 
kind of hedged our bet there just a little bit, curling a little bit lower. But 43% of the stocks holding up above their, at the close of the day, above their 40 day moving average. So that is certainly an improvement. We still need to test or um, figure out whether or not we're going to have enough energy to poke through that overall downtrend. And we still have all of this congestion in here that we're going to have to deal with in that chart. Our T2107 well, it also had a pretty nice improvement yesterday, but I want you to notice it had just a little bit more of that hooking nature in the chart, um, not giving us all that great of confidence just yet. But if you take a look here, depending on how you draw this trend line, we may have just sneaked out just barely above that trend line of, of that big long downtrend. So that is good news. And we got to give that to the bulls. Um, we do have these resistance levels in the chart that we're going to have to deal with yet. But again, 28% uh, of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average is is a little bit it's a little bit of a stretch to say man we are roaringly bullish here in this relief rally so be kind of careful here and watch those resistance levels in the chart just in case we run into so those entrenched bears that are ready to fight back so watch that carefully if we take a look at our t2101 t2101 again I, i'm not sure we're getting all the momentum that we need to be showing here in this move look at how choppy this is the good news is we we broke this and that shows that that uptrend is certainly in play here in the market and although it's a pretty choppy momentum uh for that move to the upside um that does give us a little bit of hope and if we were to look at um um, some of our index charts like QQQ yesterday and take a peek at that volume. Well, that volume right at the end of the day surged up, but honestly, it was pretty weak throughout the day. So dark pool came in right at the end of the day and brought those volume levels up. But again, just not exactly sure we're getting the best of data in that T2101 just yet. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, we've got a couple of things. You know, we've been trying to ignore these uh, these economic data points um, in favor of earnings. And yesterday we saw the PMI number come in um, ugly. Our PMI number shows that our economy is in decline and that it is shrinking um, at the moment. But we chose to ignore that yesterday and just power the industrials higher here. And so we still have these pesky economic numbers that we're trying to get past um, and favor the earnings report. So today we've got a Case-Shiller number. It's, it's hard to imagine that the housing price index is going to be a very bullish number here for the day. And then we've got a consumer confidence number, which consensus is suggesting has declined. The Richmond Fed number has been a pretty ugly number here recently, and they are expecting that to go into the negative here today on uh, the consensus. So keep an eye on these numbers. We're continuing to get that weakening of our economy and although our earnings were, were we're doing a pretty good job in earnings as long as we have vastly lowered the estimates for the companies to hit we're hitting those and we're creating all of this emotion in the market right now but be kind of careful because eventually these economic numbers will prove out to be likely the most important thing um, for our future forward in this market. So watch those closely. Um, and then keep in mind, as you plan forward, we've got international trading goods, we've got new home sales, and we've got that petroleum status number tomorrow. So keep an eye on that. This afternoon, we'll have a a two-year note auction that of course will be important um, because we have seen that uh, pretty ugly inversion that has been strongly su sustained here for a long time so 
watch that close then let's take a look at our earnings calendar oh my goodness our earnings are starting to ramp up and we're going to have a lot of emotion on the day based on those earnings reports now please keep in mind guys as these numbers of reports continue to rise there's just no way for me to cover all of those in the morning prep video unless you want an hour and a half long video every morning so please click the link um, in the title just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list of notables so first off a few that I'll cover here this morning we've got 3m reporting this morning it looks like 3m is maybe disappointing just a little bit here pushing to the downside um, we've got Cleveland Cliffs reporting they've also disappointed we're moving to the downside here this morning we're gonna hear from uh, Chipotle um, Chipotle, whoops, uh, boy, if I could type. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna hear from Chipotle Mexican Grill this afternoon. Keep an eye on that. That certainly could move us around. Um, we've got Coke this morning surging to the upside um, on its report. Um, we've got General Electric that will be reporting and you can see been really whipsawing here this morning in that pre-market activity, trying to move higher here on its report. Um, General Motors reporting, looking for an upside move here, feeling uh, pretty darn bullish on General Motors. Um, we're going to hear this afternoon from several big techs here this morning. We'll, we're going to have uh, JNPR, Juniper um, reporting. We're going to hear from Microsoft. We're also going to hear from Google. Um, so keep an eye on those reports. It is entirely possible, guys, we could see the market hesitate. Um, this morning after the morning volatility just hesitate in as we go into a wait and see mode for um, these reports we're going to catch um, Spotify this afternoon as well we um, are also getting some um, energy and oil um, uh, today with um, uh, Valero reporting and um, let's see we've got Halliburton Halliburton on that list and that's moving higher so keep a close eye on those energy prices because those have been surging strongly here recently watch those close let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful for your trade planning for the day if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow it's the engagement with the video that makes the most difference so thank you so much whoever one for everyone who does do that and thank you for everyone that's going through the comments and clicking those thumbs up buttons on the con on other folks's comments because that helps as well thank you everyone i truly appreciate it if you um, have a social media um, outlet um, that you use if you could post the link of this video out there that would also be very helpful and um, share it with other folks that might find it interesting let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you're going to have to do your own due diligence and make sure you're following your own rules um, in your trading follow your own risk tolerance uh, guidelines and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea and particularly in a market like this that is going to be prone to wild price swings be very very careful in your trade planning first off let's take a look i want to point out um, uh, netflix here netflix made that big move on its earnings report and it just continues to stretch out and extend trying to fill this gap now i don't want to chase a move like this um, in a chart because there's just too much risk of the whipsaw back to the downside but if we could wait here in netflix for a little rest little consolidation little pullback then i would look for an opportunity in that but more importantly let's take a look at how that's affecting some of these other stocks take a look at disney here now disney is trying trying to get going now this is going to report coming up on the 8th of next month and as you can see it had a nice pop on friday and now we're resting in here after breaking through that resistance so a couple of days of rest so far if we rest a little bit more look for that opportunity that we may pick up that
that higher low in here and push on through to the upside just assuming those bulls can continue pushing on through you'll want to watch that downtrend right here we're trying to slip out from underneath that downtrend and look for those opportunities maybe in a chart like that to perk up if netflix can continue to provide that levity here in the streaming sector so watch that one closely and of course remember as we move toward an earnings report it's not out of the question to see a stock like disney kind of gravitate up toward that earnings report in anticipation of those numbers so watch that closely take a look at VALE I've been watching this and I've talked about this a couple of times VALE very volatile here and this is going to be really really sensitive to those um, um, mining reports um, we had CLF here today reporting and that moving quite a bit lower here this morning and you can see that's affecting VLL VALE. The other thing that's going to affect these dramatically, however, is our bond yields and the the US dollar. Our US dollar well, it might be hinting we're still seeing this upside trend, but it might be hinting that we're weakening here in the US dollar. And if we see the dollar weaken and fall, I'm going to look for those commodity prices, those miners, those um, uh, steel stocks, those um, gold and silver stocks, oil, um, commodity based um, like wheat and corn to surge to the upside if the dollar falls out of this wedge to the downside. So watch that closely. There may be some good trading opportunities in those commodity prices, miners and, and direct commodity prices if if that dollar starts to fall. If the dollar maintains strength, well, then I would look for these to continue to decline to the downside. So watch those closely. And, and we see you know, quite a few of these stocks um, surging around in this area. Now, the other th commodity that, of course, we're really going to want to keep a close eye on is um, energy, XLE. Now, XLE, I, I'm biased on this trade. I have um, um, a long position in here. As a matter of fact, I've even sold some covered calls on the position here. It's very profitable at the moment. And um, this is going to be extremely sensitive to that US dollar. But if we continue to see um, energy hold up strong and after breaking through this resistance, a little rest, a little consolidation in here, then I would be watching for that next upside opportunity to maybe come along. And particularly if the dollar weakens, if the dollar weakens, expect oil and gas prices to shoot up. Um, that's a typical thing that happens um, on oil and gas prices. Now, the thing that could damage that thought process is if we really start to see full on demand destruction in the economy because of recession um, and consumers being strained. So, so far we've got this interesting battle going on with OPEC cutting production, energy prices moving higher. Uh, we've got a lot going on in here to watch, but um, right now I'm seeing a lot of these energy stocks looking very, very strong, and I wouldn't um, want to rule them out for more upside opportunity. Take a look at PSX has been breaking through, looking good, running in this upside move. A little rest or pullback in here would certainly set up an opportunity. We can we can see those good moves in um, like ConocoPhillips. Um, showing lots of strength, breaking through this major resistance area, trying to rest up here. Um, um, APA has been really strong, pushing up. There's that inverted head and shoulders pattern again, like on XLE. So a lot of positive patterns in these energies. Um, so I keep a close eye on those, and particularly um, watching those if the dollar begins to diminish in value. So with that, guys, I'm running too long here on the video this morning, so I want to break away. You guys have a fantastic day. Remember, there could be a very choppy session uh, today as we wait for those big tech reports after the bell. And then make sure you're planning carefully because 
virtually anything is possible tomorrow morning. We could see a big pop up if the earnings on those big techs are good. We could see a big gap down if those earnings are not so good. So just be prepared for lots of volatility and that's just gonna continue as we slide through this week with more big tech earnings and everybody has their eyes on the Apple report on Thursday. So y'all take care, be safe, have a wonderful day and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.